So here's an example where we're trying to find the mass of NaCl. We're given that we have 50 milliliters of a 2.5 molar solution. So the first thing I'm going to do whenever I see molar, which is short for molarity, so 2.50 molar, capital M, NaCl solution. I'm actually going to rewrite that as 2.50 moles of NaCl per one liter of solution. Remember, molarity, capital N, does not equal moles. Those are two different things. So here, now I can see a relationship between moles and liters, and I'm going to be able to use that to solve my problem. And now I've got my 50 milliliters. That was the given value. It only has one unit associated with it. So I'm going to say 50 milliliters. And I notice I've got milliliters here, but I have liters here. So I'm going to actually convert my milliliters to liters. So 1,000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter. Now I want to look at my molarity and see how I'm going to use that in this calculation. Because remember, I want to get rid of liters. I've already gotten rid of my milliliters. Now I need to get rid of liters. So where do I want those liters to be in the next step? Do I want liters on the bottom? Or do I want liters on the top? So hopefully you see that liters should be on the bottom because we want liters to cancel. In order for it to cancel, one thing on the top, one on the bottom. So I have 2.50 moles of NaCl per one liter of solution. So now my liters will cancel. And now I'm left with moles of, oops, forgot my L there, moles of NaCl. And so now I've got to get to grams. And so now I've got to go back to what I know about sodium chloride. And I can actually do the calculation based on the masses in the periodic table. And what I get is that sodium chloride has a molar mass of 58.5 grams per mole. So I took the mass of the sodium plus the mass of chlorine and got 58.5. Now, I'm going to do the next step here, and again, I have to look at my units. I've got moles on top here, so I've got to have something on the bottom so that it cancels out, which means my moles has to go on the bottom. So 58.5 grams per mole, and now I have my moles... Oops, my moles cancel with moles, and now what I'm left with are grams of NaCl for my answer. Those are my units. Notice I haven't done any calculations yet. I've just been worried about the units first. So I take 50 times 2.5 times 58.5 divided by my 1,000 and then obviously I don't need to do anything with the ones. And when I get 7.31 grams of sodium chloride.